Hey guys, this is your fiery friend the Inferno Man here, and if you're into games, you're right where you need to be. But before we get into it, if you like the content that I put out there, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit me up with a like, or even better, subscribe to me. It really shows that people do care about my content. Now, if you have questions, comments, stuff you'd like to see played or discussed, you can at me on Twitter or chat directly with me as I stream two to three times a week on Twitch. A visual link for those are up on the screen right now, and I will have direct links in the details below. And for today's deck tech, we're going to be going over treasure hunt combo, or as some people like to call it, not me personally, I like to call it meme hunt. Oh yes, this is perhaps the cheapest and jankiest deck you'll be able to make in the entire format. We're talking only 11 commons and one rare. That's it. Cheap as it can go. Okay, so normally this is how we do it. Normally we will cover the creatures first, then we will go over the non-creature spells, then the land base if applicable, then the sideboard, which you notice we don't have, a match with Sparky, and then a way to upgrade at the end of the video. At least that's what we normally do here. But because of how this deck is designed, it's only really meant to be at least this version is a best of one deck, and I'll explain why at the end. But here's basically how I'm going to do it instead. I'm just going to talk to you guys about this whole deck right here on the go. So here's how the deck goes. Your one and only creature is Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle is a Merfolk Wizard, 1-3 for 2 mana. When the Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put one of them on top of your library and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. The first half of that text, we don't care about. It's not really anything that's relevant. The only thing we care about is that final trigger. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Basically, this is going to be the last card you play after you pull out your entire deck using your other cards. The other cards I'm talking about is Treasure Hunt, which is the other essential part to this whole plan. Treasure Hunt is a two mana sorcery speed card. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all cards revealed this way into your hand. So as you have probably figured out by now, the way we do this is you cast your treasure hunt. You'll churn through all of these lands and either you'll hit the Thassa's Oracle or you'll pull another treasure hunt. Either way, you repeat this process until basically you get to the end of your deck. Basically by turn four, ideally, you'll be able to then have your entire deck in your hand you can then cast the Thassa's Oracle with the remaining mana that you have open to then have the trigger go on the stack and ensure that you win the game. The sweet thing is the moment the Oracle hits the battlefield, once that trigger goes on the stack, even if they blow it up, you still have it. So the only thing that destroys this whole game plan are cards like Thoughtseize or cards that counter the Thassa's Oracle. So just be mindful of that. This is a very fragile combo, but it is a very fun one. To make sure that we can still try to have some insurance, we have four copies of Mystic Sanctuary. I mentioned this before in the Mono Blue Tempo deck, but we'll talk about it one more time. If you don't already remember, again, the Sanctuary enters the battlefield tapped unless you have three or more islands. When the Sanctuary enters the battlefield untapped, you can then return a instant or sorcery card from your graveyard and put it on top of your library. So we have four copies to ensure that even if, say, something happens and we lose one of our treasure hunts, we can still put the Mystic Sanctuary, ideally by turn four, to get back an extra copy and then hopefully draw it on our next turn to ensure that we could still combo off. A couple of extra copies of Lonely Sandbar here just helps us cycle in case we need to pull out, say, that card from the Mystic Sanctuary, that treasure hunt, put it on top. Maybe your opponent is going to try to shuffle your library. Lonely Sandbar, at least if we cycle, can make sure that we can still get it. And then the final part, 48 islands. That's it. This is as simple as it gets. So although your whole combo here seems pretty straightforward there's a lot of ways to disrupt it so just be mindful of that but that's the reason why i don't have a sideboard for this version there are some other variants which we will talk about in the upgrade section but keep in mind that this version that we're talking about now is for best of one mainly because once you try to make this a best of three deck most opponents will figure out what your game plan is and will ensure that they find ways to disrupt that game plan but that's all I got for you guys. This is as simple as it gets. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go into a match with Sparky just to basically show you in a much better way instead of me just talking the whole time how the combo works. Okay, here we go. Mono Blue Meme Hunt. Oh, yes. We are going that far. You know what? I think we're going to start doing some more memeing coming up in the future. How about you guys? What do you guys think? Should we start doing things? We're talking like dog tribal in the future. We're talking about like... Rakdos rats. That's what I'm thinking in terms of more of that kind of stuff. If you guys want to see that stuff, you know, leave a comment below. All right. Anyways, let's get back to the match. All right. So as I mentioned before, 
you want to make sure you have your treasure hunt in hand. If you do not have it, mulligan. Aggressively mulligan in this deck until you at least get one treasure hunt. Uh, even if you have to go down to one card just to get that treasure hunt, you have to do it. Otherwise, you will just do nothing, and you are basically guaranteeing you're going to lose. But okay, we have our Mystic Sanctuary, which is great. We have plenty of lands to get there and the treasure hunt. So this is perfect. Let's go ahead. Let's keep this, of course. And let's see what Sparky's going to do. All right, other island. No big surprise there. Again, if your opponent has Thoughtseize, this is where you get screwed over. But that's also why we have a Mystic Sanctuary. That's just in case. Lonely Sandbar. It's fine. We don't need that. Treasure hit number one. Okay. Not a big hit, but that's fine. Okay, now we got to discard. Remember, again, if you're playing this in normal arena, this is when the clocks are ticking. So you're going to have to be really quick about your clicks. Thankfully, though, we are just running this as an example, just to give you an idea of what's going on. We need to discard seven. If you forget how many you have, just don't forget in the corner right here, it'll show you how many you've submitted. So just in case you're losing track of counting everything. Do we need to keep the Mystic Sanctuary? We'll, we'll keep it just in case. Okay, we only need to discard seven. Okay, that's fine. All right, there you go. We got our second treasure hunt ready to go. And we need to get that Thassa's Oracle, though. That's really what we need. Sparky is going to try to do everything she can to mess us up, but her beatdown plan is not going to work here. She has a good sport, though, for letting us do this. All right, so how do we do this? Hmm. Let's treasure hunt number two. Ooh, all right, big hit there. All right, and we got her Thassa's Oracle. This is what we needed. Okay, put down an island. And then probably could cycle actually here too but we'll do that on on our opponent's turn so that should be it for now go to the very end pass the turn and now we get to discard 19 cards so let's go one two three four five. Oh boy <laughs> all the clicking you don't probably at this point don't need your mystic sanctuaries but we'll keep one just in case just in case oh boy i'm, I'm, I'm losing myself here Ah. Eh? 14. There we go. Whew. Sometimes you end up pulling out your whole deck and you have to like toss out like 30 cards at once, which can be really stressful when you have a timer on you. All right, more zombies. That's fine. All out attack. Not that we care. Literally, we just are just focused on doing our thing. You know what? We're going to cycle this Lonely Sandbar. One more card to get out. All right. Another island. Not a big deal. All right. Okay. We don't have another treasure hunt, which is unfortunate. However, this is why we have a Mystic Sanctuary. So here's how we do it. Mix this Sanctuary on top. Put Treasure Hunt back on top. So this is a good example of what happens if it doesn't go off. Unfortunately, however, we don't have a way to draw it this turn, so we're just going to have to pass. Okay, Sparky, can you beat this? All right, here comes another swamp. To no one's surprise, Sparky is going to try her very hardest just to try to whittle us down to nothing. She's getting close. Okay, so we got our treasure hunt back. We have another Mystic Sanctuary if we, for some reason, still f fumble here, so don't put any lands down yet. Treasure hunt. Do we get the rest of the deck? Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is now where you want to be. We just got it. We have our final treasure hunt, which obviously you don't need anymore. Now you just need to cast Thassa's Oracle. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> that is how that's how it goes. So even if Sparky murdered us right now, we it wouldn't have mattered. We still win. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed meme hunt. Let's talk about what you can actually do to actually upgrade this. Yes, there's actually upgrades involved. I know. Wild. Now, as far as trying to upgrade this deck, well, how do I put this? I suppose upgrading it would make it a little bit more different. And we're going to show you that basically here. We have a version that uses Zombie Infestation, which is a very famous one from the modern format, and Treasure Hunt together. So how does this work? Basically, it's about the same. The only difference now is your focus is trying to get those all these lands into your hand, and then having a Zombie Infestation down, usually by turn two, and then you trigger it off by discarding two cards as you see on the card you get zombies every time you discard two cards so you get one spoopy zombie for 
each two cards you pitch out into the yard. And of course, with the silly amount of lands that we have, that's not too bad. The only reason why I'm not too much of a fan of this is one, if you're going to play this version, expect to spend a lot on rares. And that's kind of what we wanted to avoid with this. The whole point was to make something cheap, fun, and silly and memeish. That's not to say this isn't a meme. This is definitely a memeish deck. But the dynamics of the deck now make it a lot more complicated. Now you have to really hope that you have your zombie at the station. So that way you can start pitching cards in the yard, hoping that your treasure hunt also triggers off at the right time to make sure that you're not wasting anything. Fortunately, though, this deck also has a backup plan if you want to go the upgrade route. At the very minimum, Crawling Barons also can give you a creature to beat down with if you want to utilize this. In theory, you can use this with the best of one version that we just talked about, but again, it gets a little iffy there. If you're willing to spend the rares, I wouldn't recommend spending them directly on upgrading this deck. I would rather you say spend rares on say the lands. If nothing else, these lands like Crawling Barons, or say if in our sideboard here, Blast Zones, the Labyrinth, Scavenger Grounds are at least something you can use for other decks. But that's pretty much it in terms of an upgrade. Not really, I know, not much of an upgrade per se. This is just more of an alternative version of the deck if you have the rares for it. Don't go out of your way to build this unless if you really, really, really are dedicated to making spoopy zombies. And there you have it, everyone. That is Meme Hunt in a nutshell. Literally, this is as simple as you get. If you are a fan of meme-style magic, if you are broke in magic arena, and I know some of you guys are, again, not hating on you guys, not making fun of you, but if you basically you're like, hey, I just want a free deck where I just want to mess with people in best of one, definitely play this deck. It's simple, really easy, and it, in a fun way, it's actually kind of, it does, there is a little hint of strategy to it, so it's not as super cut and dry as you may think it is, but it can still be pretty enjoyable. <laughs> the look on people's faces the moment they see this go off, some of them actually instant concede immediately. I, I have seen it before, and it's hilarious. But aside from that, what do you guys think? Do you like meme-ish decks like this? And we're talking like meme on a scale of 1 to 10. This is an 11. But otherwise, if you guys want to see more meme decks like this, trust me, I do have a couple of other ideas coming up. I think I'm looking at right now Doge Tribal. Um, but yeah, let me know the noise in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Aside from that, thanks again for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if it helped you out. You learned something, or at least it entertained you. And remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later.